Hello everyone and welcome back to my morning report charts appraisal on Thursday the 21st of January with me Rich Pay Market Analyst at Antic Markets. Looking at sterling dollar now and we've had this very slight rebound haven't we? Sort of 30-40 ticks higher on yesterday's close. Slight recovery, nothing too exciting to get um, the bull's appetite wet. Um, it's I mean, it's just a, a little minor blip within the within the selling um, that we've had over the past sort of few weeks. Uh, Forty two thirty is still um, we're still trading underneath that um, as that and that was the big breakdown level. And uh, it's interesting actually on the hourly chart. Forty two thirty five was was the low. So so that is um, again I mean again on this hourly chart you can see that just. One, I mean, uh, you can probably count them further back, actually, I think you can, but I've got them indicated here. One, two, three, four, five instances of old support becoming new resistance. Really, really interesting uh, trading, certainly in the last sort of week or so um, on the, on cable. 43.50 with the, was this low here. Became the overhead resistance, and then 42.35. Now 42.35 obviously is very close on that on the hourly chart to the 42.30, which is um, well, 2010 low. Which is this 2010 low here. So now, um, if we continue low, which I think we will on cable, uh, there's nothing t that tells me yet that we're going to get a recovery. Um, the momentum indicator is still very bearish, still very bearish, and um, I think that what you're going to get is when you do see a rally. Um, it's going to rally and rally hard um, because I think it's going to be a massive short squeeze um, and I think it's probably going to be driven by some sort of fundamental event I don't really see it going to be a technical move at the moment because I think the momentum is so negative to the downside um, that uh, there's very little I think at the moment that we're going to see that's going to induce a recovery from the technical side I think it's going to have to be fundamental driven I don't exactly know what that's going to be um, but yeah, I think for that reason, I think that uh, it's um, it's going to be a short squeeze, and a short squeeze could rally hard. So you can need to be uh, increasingly vigilant, I think, with your with uh, stop loss protection and things like that, um, and just being very careful not to chase too hard to the downside. Because although yes, it is falling, um, it could have the potential to turn around very quickly. So um, watching out, I think, on the hourly chart for these overhead resistance levels, perhaps. Um, so 42.35 initially, 43.50 big uh, resistance. Again, we've what we've seen overnight is this um, these MACD lines on the hourly chart unwinding to neutral, turning over, crossover there. Stochastics looking like they've lost the upside momentum as well. Is it going to be sold into again? I think the chances are that it will. So I wish you good luck in your trading today, and I will speak to you later. Thank you.